and make recommendations on how to deal with this alarming national pandemic of teenage pregnancies and the use of drugs among our younger citizens, our young citizens. We have a national problem. We actually can say we have a national crisis. And you know that President Uhuru Kenyatta is very busy. He is dealing with COVID-19 issues. He is busy accepting parties who are joining his party of Jubilee. He is busy with other matters of state. But this is a national crisis. And the numbers that we are seeing are an indication that unless as a society, as a country, we do something, we are going to regret it in the few years to come. So I ask the President, take some time, set up a special commission or a task force to study this problem of teenage pregnancies. We cannot continue pretending it is not there. There has to be a cause. Why is it increasing than before? Why is it happening more? And it's a national crisis. It is not only in one county, it is everywhere. Because as the national statistics show, 152,820 teenage girls have so far become pregnant this year. Six months, 150,000 kids have become pregnant in this country of Kenya. Totally unacceptable. And it is, it is shocking when you hear the ages of 10 to 14. I mean, who impregnates a 10-year-old girl? A 14-year-old girl? Those are children. How you are taught to? So it is alarming. It is something that is uh, shocking all over the country. Some counties are doing badly. You look at Kakamega, uh, followed by Homer Bay County. Uh, many other counties, Machakos, Kuko, number 15. We are not even in the top 10 of counties whereby women or, you know, small babies are being made into mothers and women, but they are still small. So, it is a national problem. It is a national problem that needs to be, be dealt with nationally, with a focused national solution. I'm also calling to our leaders' bodies, I'm calling upon our leaders' bodies to engage the government and the public in pregnant force and spiritual interventions. In other words, it is saying, Wamba ni huzuni, tuombe wa kitu wetu, tuombe chukio nyumbani mtoto wa sibebe mimba, tumaikele mikono wa sibebe mimba, mama kienda dukani ya naombia mstiana waki kukuta ya nipa programs. In the church, in schools, within the society, to stop our girls from getting pregnant. It's a very, very big problem across the country. Hand in hand, and this is critical, we also need to address the issue of illicit drug abuse among our teenagers. The market for the consumption of illicit drugs and alcohol among our young people. We have to enhance our war against drug cartels and those exposing our children to drugs and other substances. Kenya has become a big market in Africa for drugs. Our young people are conglomerating in hospitals, <coughs> in house parties, in Nairobi, in Mombasa, in Machakos, in Kisumu, in Eldoret. Young people are meeting for parties during the day, in the evening. And in those parties, when we grew up, we were going to smoking marijuana and they are popping pills. Teenagers, 14, 13, 16. They are popping pills. If you talk to our parents, they'll tell you. I was talking to a parent who uh, got in touch with me after yesterday's story about pregnancies and somehow decided to come home early, earlier than it was needed. And she has a daughter who is a nurse. Some had passed out from taking cocaine in her house. Nani mamu wa kanisa. Uyu na nabeba in the basket ya sadaka kuna jumapili kanisani. And to even make matters worse, when she was so horrified, when she walked into one of the bedrooms, she found others having sex in her room, in her house. Just because she got home again. And that's the reality of what is happening in our country. 
drugs and drug lords are really your kids. So in this timid pregnancy with drugs, with alcohol consumption and confusion that is coming, that is you know being perpetuated around our country. We also need to be aligned to the statistics that uh, what they are telling us is that when a few people, when you hear 152,820 teenagers, girls, are pregnant, it means those ones who are unlucky to get pregnant, but more are pregnant. And it is even scary because when you've got over 150,000 youth or teenagers, children, girls, pregnant, it means they're not using protection. It means they are exposing themselves to STDs, to exposure to HIV, AIDS, and other diseases. That's what it means. So you can imagine there are million or two or three million having unprotected sex, which they shouldn't be having anyway, they are kids. Hence the importance of putting together a task force to come up with solutions to this big problem that may soon become a social economic, a social health and economic problem in our country. It's true that some, not many, some, change that, some girls are impregnated by adults. We have what we are seeing here in Machako and elsewhere are actually impregnated by their fellow age mates. Ukiangalia Mahali, you go to the shopping mall. You go to places where youth are seated. You go to places where girls are. Utakuta machali na madem. Teenage boys with teenage girls. We need them young, we need them young. They are hanging around. So let us not get this concept that all these girls are being made pregnant by adults, by fathers. Akina Baba. No, 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 no.